Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part 10 of building a real working Iron Man inspired exosuit. We've done quite a lot of R&D in the channel already. Check out the previous parts, but essentially I've got something I can walk along in with powered legs, which carries at least its own load. I've also done some development on a robotic elbow, which can lift quite a bit of weight and all of my gearboxes and gears are 3D printed to save money. I've also used quite a lot of wood and some various other things off eBay, so the whole thing is being built on a budget, and it's driven by brushless RC motors, which are pretty cheap as well. So although it's probably not the best material to build out of, it does mean I can complete the project, and I don't run out of funds. This time we're going to be building the remaining two arm axes, which attach to the one that I've built at the back, and essentially go between that and the elbow. The elbow may get redesigned, and I also need to build a gripper in the future. So the next axis gets built onto this sprocket, which is attached to this long bit of studding, and this is all built in bearings. It's driven by this chain drive and the motor on the back. I made this model some time ago that shows the axis we need to build. So this is the rotational axis that we've already got. This is the elbow we've already got. And what we need now is the two in the middle. So one that lifts the arm out this way and one that lifts it this way. Here's the original CAD I did in 123D Design for the back axis, which is this axis here with the sprocket on the top. And what we now need are the other two axes. So we need this one here, which allows the arm to rotate up and down and one built onto that that allows it to rotate outwards. So instead of using chain and sprockets, I'm gonna use much lighter pulleys made of something else. Yes, we're gonna make most of the parts out of some lovely plywood because it's really light and really rigid for what we need. Obviously, if we made it all out of steel, it would be really heavy. There's gonna be some 3D prints and probably some aluminum extrusion as well. So now this piece mounts onto here, this piece goes on top and those will be attached together so that this piece will pivot around the axis. Then attached to that are these pieces which make up the next axis. Before I can put that together, I need to have a look at some 3D printed parts. So this piece is actually going to be my pulley that pulls the arm up. But I don't really want to run a bit of cord or whatever around the edge because it will cut into the wood. So I'm going to edge it with aluminium strip bent around and a 3D print either side that's got a groove cut in for the aluminium to go in because it's slightly too wide. That's also going to keep the cord from popping off. So I've got two of those and we need to put that together plus the carrier for the other 20mm axis.
Right, so we've got a couple of here that attaches the studding this way and this way. We've got a spacer here which will get done up against the bearing. Both of these are on bearings and they're coupled at the back here so they rotate together. They're also going to be uh, coupled at the front with another plate and then we need a hanger that comes through with the other axis which is what this piece is for. Right, the next axis goes on the middle of this one and it's got two hangers here. I've made them in almost solid ABS mainly because I've run out of nylon otherwise they would have been nylon parts so those screw on and that gives me the outward lift of the arm. So that makes up our three shoulder axis, the main one that rotates this way, the one that goes this way, and another one on there that now leans outwards and uses this as its pulley. Right, it's time to assemble a gearbox. As before, the gearbox sides are ABS and the gears are made of Tormann alloy, which is nylon. So my gearbox is fitted underneath and using the block and tackle this takes loads of load off those 3D printed gears and it's going to be more than strong enough to lift up that arm as it did with the elbow joint. And of course the other motor still works for the rotation. So I can rotate the arm this way as well. And of course I'll be stood here, so the axis we're left with now is for lifting the arm outwards. The one I've just built is for this, and the one we had before on the back is for moving the arm out this way. The next thing to do will be putting the arm that I already built with the elbow back onto here. So that will be the piece that lifts outwards. Obviously today we've made it lift this way, and that also has the elbow on, which is going to need some redesign, and it'll have another motor, and this will be the pulley to pull it outwards. The plan for this next time will be redesigning this slightly so it uses a plywood and aluminium pulley instead of this chain because it's already heavy enough on one side and this is pretty heavy. We'll also be making that pivot to attach onto the axis we've left with the extra gearbox to pull it up. Obviously eventually there'll be a proper control system which is going to be a four axis floating joystick attached to the arm so it follows my motions and we'll do something proper with the legs as well. But first we need to get those mechanics finished. I'm probably going to build the other arm axis then look at the control system before we actually put a gripper on because it's getting heavy on one side we're probably going to need something on the other side to balance it up either just to make it balanced or for fun like a giant nerf gun launcher. So don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this project and all the other projects. And you should also check out my Patreon campaign, which is how most of my projects are funded. Have a look at patreon.com slash xrobots and you can get access to some exclusive rewards, including a live broadcast with me and all my videos early. All right, that's all for now.